Alright guys, how you doing? It's Dab88 here. Now, I'm playing Just Cause 3 and I've just unlocked the newest wing suit ability in the Traversal Mod section. Now, it's actually the first wing suit ability that you get and you can see here it's the Wing Suit Air Brake. Hold Control or, in my case, uh, B, because I'm using a control pad, to slow down. So, have we got it activated? We don't. I'm just going to show you what it does quickly and I'm going to explain why it's not an upgrade. It's actually a downgrade. So, okay, we'll go off this edge here, we'll find a building, we'll get a good... Yeah, okay, now I'm going to press B, and you slow down a lot. Wow, you can almost hover in the air. I mean, that's pretty cool, I'm sure it has its uses. I'm sure it can probably come up with something. But at the moment, I'm not a fan of it. And I'm going to explain why. Now, the problem I have with the wingsuit air brake here is it's assigned to the B button. And unfortunately, the B button, uh, when you don't have the wingsuit air brake mod on, cancels your grapple. And that's very, very important when you're wingsuiting. Because there'll be often times where you're wingsuiting close to the ground or going through a tight obstacle and you'll need to detach from the grapple before it naturally does. Now it naturally detaches from the grapple right at the very fucking end. Now that's not good if you're like on, on your way to fucking slamming into a wall. If you're on your way to slamming into a wall, you want to cancel that grapple. You want to rehook somewhere else and change your direction wingsuiting. You don't want to be moving left and right too much while you're wingsuiting. You really want to be very subtle with it because it takes away a lot of the speed. Now the only other way to change your direction is by grappling and that actually maintains your speed. Now I'm just going to show you some examples here of me wingsuiting around and detaching. Now you can see here I'm, I'm hardly even letting them reel in but it allows me to manoeuvre a lot without losing speed, changing direction, deciding where I want to go and it's very much like Just Cause 2. I mean you have to concentrate a lot and I'm not saying that long reel ins aren't good because they are very good especially when you start getting elevation in order to get the long reel in to maintain your speed here we go see there we go we just traveled up a huge amount of height there but we wouldn't we would have slammed into the wall if i wasn't detaching at various stages there because uh, i'm i'm not moving on a pre-planned -pre route i'm moving just sort of free form and the best way to do that is to have lots of room for error and being able to cancel your grapple by using the B button is just fucking perfect and you can see here I'm doing stuff that you would never be able to do if the air brake mod was on I'd be using the grapple and I'd be shitting myself I'd just slammed into about six walls by now okay I think that proves my point I wouldn't have been able to do what I just did if air brake was on. And I think, personally, at the moment, air brake's a downgrade for me. I'm gonna maybe use it in other circumstances, I'm sure it will have uses. But at the moment, when it comes to freeform grappling and wing... What is it? Sling suiting, they call it? Yeah, sling suiting around. Whoa! Almost hit that. <laughs> I want to be able to detach my grapple at any point. So yeah guys, what do you think? What's your experience on the matter? Are you for or against this wingsuit air break? Let me know down in the comments. It would really be good to sort of hear other people's opinions and what they think on the matter. Anyway, I'll see you next time.